This is number six in sector five. Nothing happening. This is Alpha Base. Checked out sector nine, number six. We just got a blip on our screen. Okay, I'll check it out. I picked up the blip, you guys. It looks awfully huge. Guys, Alpha Base, Alpha Base, come in Alpha Base. Alpha Base can't hear you anymore. Your transmission is being jammed. Who are you and what do you want? Who I am and what I want are of no concern of yours. As a matter of fact, you won't be having much to concern yourself with for very long. Look out your side window. Holy fuck! Well, I'm gonna take care of him. I'll mark through the landing plane and keep the doctor speeds up. I will tolerate no more mistakes like the last one that caused us to be picked up to the radar. When I bench myself and finally get rid of Lego Man, everyone will suffer under me. That goody goody, he makes me sick. I know there's an escape button. Well, that settles that. Now to fly back to the base and warn the others. You've got your minerals. I don't think you need us anymore. We'll be leaving now. I'm going for a walk to see if there's other minerals other than in this area. Okay, just stay in radio contact. Did you see that? I most certainly did. I'm coming back. I've got to warn the others. I'll be heading back to Alpha Base. Stay here and continue mining. Figures. I always miss out on the action. Oh well, might as well just go back to work. Keep an eye on these burgers and make sure they're putting the lamb off to do the other right. Oh, where could they be? Oh, where could they be? First I picked up the blip on my screen and then I saw the biggest ship ever. Well, I only caught a glimpse of it before it shot me down and then I crashed and was knocked out. And when I came to, the ship was gone. And I remembered the escape ship and I got it out and I came back to the base to warn you guys. And here I am. Whoa, well, you got that one breath too, eh? How about your story, number one? Well, see, it was like this. We were out there looking for some minerals and we found some. During my search, the huge ship went overhead. I saw only the bottom of it. I don't really know how big it is. So I went running back to my Explorer spacecraft and flew here to warn you guys. Hmm, that's it. What's it, Chief? The only one you could think you could possibly pull this off. Who, Chief? Who? Well, the Dark Tree, of course. Wait a minute, Chief. The Double D is just a myth like space pirates. What makes you think this guy's for real? It's a long story, but take it from me. The Dark Tree is no myth. I know him. You know him? But how? Like I said, it's a long story. Maybe I'll tell you guys someday, but for now, just take my word for it. By the way, what happened to number two? Oh, Mamma Mia, I almost forgot. I left him out there all alone. Ah, uh, get away! Don't come near me! I'll sue! Get away! Get away! I'll do, I swear. Ah, my leg. I think you broke my leg. Let go. Ah. What the heck? Let go. Let's go. No, 
the girl, no, leave me, don't, don't take me away, I'll tell you anything, just, just leave me, ah, no, no, I'm scared of, no, don't go, not in the dark, oh. <laughs> Hey, number five, I see something strange. I'm going to check it out. Home in on my signal, locator. Well, what do you make of it? I can't figure it. I'll take the mining vehicle back to the base. Tell me how to get in the base. I'm telling you, the force field around the base is open automatically when a ship approaches with the right prefix codes. Tell me those prefix codes now. The prefix codes are in the ship's memory banks. The computer handles it all. Oh, really now? Then I guess I have no further use for you. Robot, terminate him. Wait a minute, Robot. Maybe we do have some use for this guy. Maybe he can get us in the base. Yes, yes. That, that, that's how I'll do it. I'll never help you. You don't have to. Ah, goody goody little man will do whatever I want now. There's number five and ten, those men. Well, I was cruising through space when I saw number two's abandoned mining vehicle. I immediately landed and checked it out. Any sign of number two? No, Chief. Tell number nine to get over the old base. Sure, Chief. Hey, Chief, we have a transmission coming in. Okay, number 11. Put it on the overhead speaker so I can hear it. Okay, Lego man, I have one of your men with me. Now listen, and listen good. I want you to lower the defense screen, and I'll give you your man back, unless you want to come out here and discuss it with me. Sir, if we lower their shields, we'll have no defense. I know that I have a plan. Ah, Dark Dude, still up to your old tricks, are you? Lego man, I am touched that you remember me. I, on the other hand, will always remember you. Now, I have one of your men, so the way I see it, you have two choices. Either you lower to the screens or on the base, or your man here will be shipped to you in an after crate in pieces. Okay, you got it. Well, give us a couple hours to get prepared. I'll tell you what, Mr. Goody Lego Man. I will give you half a day to evacuate that base station and save your miserable necks. But after that, this friend of yours is going to be after that. I'll see you in six hours. You can't be serious about letting Dark Dude have this base. This base is the only thing protecting the Earth from guys like him. Would you rather have this on the death card for number two? Anyway, I said I had, I had a plan, didn't I? Contact number three and four. Tell them to come up the old base in their off-terrain vehicle. Tell number one to follow them in the space explorer's craft. The rest of you stay here and be prepared for attack. Where are you going, Chief? Yours is what we wonder why yours is just about to follow orders. Right, Chief. Okay, man, let's dial off and get these critters out by thumbnail. What do we do now, Dark Dude? 